friends, Lisa. Welcome to Spice It Up Sunday. Why take an ladies less ants and more candle in tea? Why take an existing palette in circulation like Tom Ford's Body Heat today and I spice it up with something new and interesting in my collection? Today, I'm going to be spicing it up with Kyma Cosmetics. And I know some people have asked me to maybe do some swatches of some of the kind of cosmetics I have. I've already done one on Fantasia, which is a bright pink, and I used it for Spice It Up Sunday on the Copper Charge palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Today, I wanted to show some of the other colors that I have in my collection. Glitter, Luminous, and Glamour. I end up going with Glamour on my eye because Luminous, I felt, needed to have maybe another shade underneath it, like a light lavender, and I didn't do that with my eyes. And this one, I thought, uh, is very pretty. It's like a rose gold, this luminous color. At least that's how it's showing up on my skin. Uh, but I felt like glamour really popped on my skin. So that's the one that I want. I bought this dress, okay? It's Absolute Perfection. That's the name of the print. It's called Absolute. And then it has like a bunch of R's in perfection, like perfection, absolute perfection <laughs> by Lily Pulitzer. And these beautiful pink heart earrings which I could not wait to get in. Uh, I bought them because I wanted them to go with uh, some of the new Davina cosmetics that came out and I had created a color story last week to kind of go with that. And these were the kind of colors you can see that the colors do go with this print but uh, today is Spice It Up Sunday and I needed to find an existing palette not my own palette that I created, and so I'm using Tom Ford's Body Heat today. But I did want to show some of these colors, like in here, that they do go with this print. So this is, a, I bought this print specifically for these Davina colors. I got the pink icing bundle, and these are some of the ones from the Winter of the Wicked. That's what it is called, Winter of the Wicked Davina. These are the rest of the colors that aren't in here, so it's the all of them. I just had picked some of the ones from Winter of the Wicked and some of the colors from the pink ice icing bundle and I put them all into one. But you can see they're all in this print. <laughs> you can see it's kind of funny because these prints have so many different colors in them uh, and it's just a shame not to get out the colored colors to kind of go with it. But that's what I did today. <laughs> So sit back, relax, and enjoy this fun video. Okay, I'm going to start off by priming my eye with Makeup by Mario. And the reason why I like this is because it gives a nice base and there's a setting powder on it. So that's a cool one to like give first step of priming all over your eye with a loose pigment that's close to your eye color. For me, this is close to my eye color. So that's what I use. And that's where a lot of my eye makeup looks are very soft and diffused rather than really bright. Unless it's extremely pigmented, then uh, there's no getting over that. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to be using this brown mascara. Now, what I found, sometimes when you do your own videos, if you do videos and you watch back, you'll see all the little things that you're making mistakes on. Like, I realized I wasn't really going to the base of my eyelashes and consequently, it looked kind of weird on camera, but I didn't see it until I would go back and watch it because my eyesight is not that great. Yeah, and I do my lower lash line a little bit. Uh, what I do find though is if you bring your lashes all the way to the edge, it gives a little bit of a shadow here that I'm not feeling. <laughs> I'm not liking that so much. So uh, a trick that I was watching from another makeup artist is to not go all the way to the edge, so that's what I'm doing here. Like, oh, okay, that's actually interesting. I I can understand what you're saying there, because I see that on my videos. Okay, I'm going to be using this Hydro Grip uh, Concealer Primer. I did not even realize that, though, you needed a concealer primer before you put on your concealer. It's like, oh, okay, so this helps prevent creasing, I think. Um, I also put moisturizer, like on moisturizer creams. I use the Sephora and I use the Tatcha Silk Peony before I put on when I grip primer. Then I put on my concealer. And I have two concealers. This one is, you know, perfect for under the eye. 
And I have another one that doesn't have any oil and it's more safe for the rest of the face. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Powder under the eye. This just blurs this area a little bit more. And you don't want to put too much powder anywhere or in your eyes or areas that can get dry on your, you know, if you have little dry areas because then it really shows. And with this MAC, it's a medium dark finishing powder. And I'm just going to brush that all over my skin just to give these some color. Look at that now. I don't look so blindingly white. Like, we want to look healthier. Now we're going to go in with our, <laughs> with our elephant palette. Again. See, now it doesn't look so stark. Because I had that darker color on. And I'm going to bring it into a C, that lighter pink color. And I'm doing this first because ah, I'm thinking that I'm going with the, this highlighter, but I'm going out doing this first because I don't want to look that pale when I'm doing my eye look. So you don't have to see me so white. <laughs> there we go. Putting on my bronzer, chiseling, sculpting. Um, another thing you can do, I just want this. It's a concealer by Smashbox and it's a 24 hour concealer and I checked all the ingredients there was nothing in this that should cause any kind of skin issues whatsoever uh, and I've saved this only for like in my chin and like under my nose a little bit just to make it look uh bring it forward just a little bit to kind of soften any lines that I have and should check that this brush was clean and see it just brings this area just a little bit more forward to hide uh, a lot, what do you call them, smile lines. That's right. We're working with what we have. I'm going in with Tom Ford's Body Heat. And so I've already put my first light all over shadow to make everything more diffuse. But now we're going in with the lightest shade in this palette, which is this one. And I'm going to put that one all over here. Why? Because um, this will also help diffuse as I put the other colors on. So I'm going in with this lightest shade all over. And even still, you can see there's color to this. If I had gone and thought, okay, well, this is the shimmer color, and I just went right into one of these darker colors, it would have been way too much for my skin tone. So I know a lot of my friends of our fair or um, offer are saying, oh, these colors are just too dark. But if you go in with the lightest shade first, uh, all over, then I'm doing it all the way up to my brow because this is, by going up you know, pretty much close to the brow in this area, in my inner eye, and then over on this area, I'm not going quite up as high. But I'm using this as my transition shade. Now I'm going in with this second shade, this red, and applying this in. Only mostly on the outer edge, and then bring me in to the crease. And just make this nice little windshield micro motions. You may I'm sure too to kind of darken this area a little bit, giving it some definition. This is very, very classy. And I am going to be using my smudge brush. Let's brush this off. And I'm also going to use that same red and carry it down below. This is my thicker smudge brush. You can go with the same thing. I did have a little bit of dark pearl eyeliner from the Charlotte Tilbury underneath already. So that's why it looks a little bit darker. Now I'm going in with this brow here and I'm all going up on brittle ways. Kind of making it more like lovey. We can always see if we need a bit more of this or not. Boys, I'm kind of not going up as high. I'm not going up, you know, into 
the bone area of the goal, pretty much like up to the bone, uh, and then kind of go. And this is a darker color, so as we're doing it this way, you want it to be overpowering the other colors that are already placed as our transition shades. This is very pretty. And I'm also going to go over with a smaller smudge brush. It's number one on the crease piece. That kind of thin layer and just put it on the line, lash line. Okay, now we just got to clean up a tiny bit with our Kelly smash box. And you notice that I only, I have like hundreds of brushes, but I found this one brush that I just absolutely love. It's called to me like the Harry Potter magic wand. It just, it just feels my soul. <laughs> All right, putting this like yellow here. It just cleans up right under the brow and it gives it this really pretty diffused look. Now we should even like bring it up in here just a tiny bit. Okay, now for the really fun, fun part. Are we ready? I have three Kyma cosmetic products and I know that some people have asked me what they look like, how they, um, how, what I think of them, how they apply. So this is actually the first time I've actually used these because all oh, I have a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of stuff. And so this is going to be the first time we both are going to be trying this together. All right. And I'm going to be using just this little metal uh, dish here. And I'm going to be putting them in these respective quadrants. Um, two little drops. And I'm going to put it in each one and I'm going to mix it. And then I'm going to swatch it on my hand. It's pretty magical. Like, do you see this? Hold on, there we go. Do you see how, like, it's so, so gold and shiny, shifty? It's like liquid gold. Okay, so this is glamour. Twist my arm enough to show you how sparkly it is. That is over the top. <laughs> it's over the top. Okay, this is luminous. It's very interesting because they've got, like, these little plasticky, filmy, glittery stuff on it that's uh, I guess dissolves in this medium, but, uh, it's not something you would immediately imagine ever putting on your eyes without mixing this up. I'm not talking about the luminous as much as I'm talking about lunar. Lunar has like these big, big particles, like plasticky part particles that I guess will dissolve. Okay. So this is luminous. So it is. I'll see if you could see this. I think too, and kind of lighting. They're very similar on my skin, but the glamour is definitely more opaque. See that? This one is very weird to me. There are some weird stuff that kind of pollutes on the top. And maybe that's what's giving it this iridescent color. I want to show how crazy this stuff is. Do you see this? That's what it looks like. And there's no top, so if I just slightly move it over and there's like these little like a uh, light plastic key film like it's so hard to describe but it's like it's not like glitter it's like little pieces of plastic that are i guess dissolve in this in this glistening sauce here so let's see yeah it definitely it just dissolves right in it and then we're just gonna put it here we can see that that's lunar so it dissolves it's just like magic <laughs> because it looks really chunky and plasticky but then when you put the glistening drops in it dissolves so that's kind of what it looks like all right so which color do i want with this outfit i think i'm going from this lunar this crazy one that has a little bit um, unique let's try that one so we're gonna put that all over the eye and I'm going to put, I'm going to do a lower time to make sure that I put a couple more of these glistening drops. But this is a really tiny jar, so we want to use it sparingly. Like, look how tiny this little jar is. I've got the tiniest hands, and these are, this is really small. I like small jars because I'm able to handle them better. Okay, I'm putting in the lunar. Problem is, I mean, this is this line all around. <laughs> it's like the flying, whatever in the heck this is, because just look like, it's like a plasticky glitter, filmy, like very lightweight, filmy, glittery particles. 
I have to research what the heck this is. This, I'm assuming it's okay to put on your eyes because it's meant as an eye topper. Okay, ready? I think I might have to let it dry before I like open my eyes. Okay, this might be a little bit crazy. And that's one of the problems with some of these, um, these kind of things, because they can be a little chunky and hard to work with. And you want to do it before it dries. Okay, it looks super cool, but it is a little bit cool and um, chunky. And then normally the way that I take care of things like that when it's really chunky, is I play it on top of another shadow. Um, and not like a light shadow, like what I did with the tongue forward, um, like something a little bit darker or, um, or matte. All right, I am gonna try, I just think that this first color, Glamour, was really, really in your base. So I'm gonna put that here, so you could see it. So I think out of the three Glamour, is probably going to be the most rewarding to buy. But look at that. I just think that looks prettier, in my opinion. I think that Glamour is my favorite one out of the three that I got. And I already tried Fantasia, which was out of this world. I mean, that was pink and <laughs> I love pink, but sometimes we're just like, you know what? I don't want to do a pink. I want to do, I want to do something that like, what is going on here? Does, am I crazy or does this look like insanely bright? This is insanely bright. I'm going to have to like take out a way to cool stuff a little bit so it's not so insane. And this is not something I normally work with, so learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Actually, you know what I fun? It's going to be a little bit of this blue stuff. For a year. Oh. <laughs> or not. I don't know. Maybe too much. <laughs> this is where somebody says, please stop her. Stop. She's put, she said way too much. It's gone too far. This has gone too far. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to put on my lipstick, which is kind of important. I just had the lip gloss, uh, happy love from Charlotte Tilbury, but now I'm going to be applying the ABH Hush Rose. I tried a bunch of different ones. I bought pretty much all of them except for one, which was not in stock of the new collection for ABH. And I did a side-by-side -side comparison on one of my videos comparing all of them, the new ones that were available. And this was my favorite, the ABH Rose, um, Hush Rose. And I am going to be using the Dream Rose Lip Liner, which is not a new lip liner by them. Uh, it came out last year. Yes, now I think if you put together, I'm like, I'm missing something very important here. And it's not blush, it's not highlighter. What am I missing here? And I realized it's not how my lip pattern, I did not put on my lipstick. How was that even a thing, right? Uh, and we'll just put on. I guess it's here a little lip gloss because that's what I have. My final thoughts on Kyla Cosmetics. I and mean, then, first off, I think that if you use this beautiful glamour color, it's going to be absolutely amazing, especially with the glistening drops. They do dry down very pretty. Um, it does feel a little weird when you first put it on because it feels like a very sticky kind of, um, almost like your eyes are glued like there's some glue on there i don't know it's a very interesting feeling i could say that um but the more that i'm wearing it i'm loving it i'm actually really loving it i know that when i first put it on i was like oh my gosh i may have to take this off this is a little bit crazy i'm not like sure about this one but it did turn it down really beautifully and they stayed on for quite a while now like you could see these have been budged and i've used that i swatched these quite a, a while back you know, a couple hours ago, and they are, have not moved. <laughs> so that's kind of impressive. And this just dried down so 
nice and it wasn't um it, it wasn't as crazy as i thought it was looking when i first put it on i actually really like this color glamour and i am very excited to try these other colors but i do think like out of the four that i got fantasia uh fantasia lunar luminous and glamour i think the one that i prefer and of all four is glamour i think it's one that um it's not it, it it just when you mix it up in your pan it's not going to be that daunting it doesn't look as crazy when the, the glitter comes out and it mixes it's not like there's those um plasticky thin particles in it as much as some of the other ones were and, and it comes out a little bit more opaque and it's very neutral so i really like this and and that's my thoughts. I, out of the four, I liked Glamour the best. And I love playing with it. I love trying all these different colors. It was a lot of fun. And I loved it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe.